Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. So today we're watching Snowfall. So today we're jumping back into Snowfall for Season 6, Episode 6, Concrete Jungle. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Mm. For good. Oh. What? Jerome, where are you The first you going? I'm out was I'm out. Literally. Where are you going? Oh. That's an excuse to get me to move in with you, Pebby. Took a little trip today. Figured I'd treat your old man as This was unbelievable. Did you kill a CIA officer's father, huh? Wrong answer. A CIA officer. What did you just do? Transfer my fucking money. Unbelievable where this kid is now. Parisa? Yeah, get out the house. It's Julia. Yeah. Get out the house. There has been a viable threat against your life, and you need to relocate immediately. I'll tell you everything once you're settled, but right now you need to get moving. There's a police. I feel like Franklin's officer. in the room. Please stop. I feel like that literally. My father was murdered. But the person responsible said that you and Paul were next, so you have to pack whatever you need and get moving. Number was traced to a farmhouse in Tonganoxie. I don't want any other law enforcement agencies involved. We handle this ourselves. We just got to put eyes on Franklin, on his penthouse, his mother's house, his office. I can tell you from experience, losing a parent you had a complicated relationship with can be just as difficult. It wasn't complicated. It was non-existent. This is very important. You say you're good, fine. But you better make damn sure. <laughs> because it's not just your ass on the line here. Better be for damn sure. <laughs> What's that? that now? My goodness. That looks like a virus spreading. Thank you. I'm not getting back on that plane. And neither are you. Let's just get back to LA and we can figure out what happens next, okay? This is over, my love. Hmm. Time for self preservation. Did you see what I just saw? You say you're scared. You want to get his baby out of harm's way. You will be waiting when he gets the money. And then we vanish. I have passports for the both of us. We will raise this baby, you and me. Since when? Ooh. Since when do you have passports for us? Did you think for a second that I'd agree to any of this without an exit plan? But your exit plan this usually involved you. you. From the right. start. Why you came here, why you agreed to all. You called me and I came. What's this? Oh, well, we've been talking, and in light of what's just transpired, we think it might be best if uh, Veronique and I didn't go back to L.A. We'll take a car to Phoenix, fly from there, make sure she's safe, and then you can come meet us when you've sorted this all out. Is that what you want, V? No. I won't go back to that life. Rootless and always running, and I won't condemn my child to it, mother. But you'll Ooh. condemn your child to death. A prison. Life with a monster. He's not a monster. To me, he's a man who hasn't lied. Or raised a hand. Or left me alone in a prison cell. Wow. He's doing everything in his power to deliver the life I want. No matter how he has to do it. Ooh. I'm staying. You wish you had a man like Franklin. Oh man, he comes in close when he wants to say some diabolical shit. Yeah, sorry to see you go. Come on, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> they didn't find anything. <laughs> Tony's giving it to him. The fuck about the KGB. She's threatening to shut it all down and send me to prison. Search and blind ain't smart. Yeah, well, I can't sit around doing nothing no more. <gasps> Jerome fucking saint. Whoops. <laughs> you gotta put that on our tab. We'll talk tomorrow. Now, to talk tomorrow ain't gonna work for me. Oops. I'm gonna be going, going to Jamaica. Get on plane. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jerome. Fine. Damn bullshit. No, I think you're looking for a fight, and I ain't biting. I ain't looking for no goddamn fight. I'm telling you, I'm goddamn done. Fine. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> 
Maybe you're supposed to acknowledge this shit is fucking insanity. The money ain't worth this shit, Lou. Maybe you stop this shit because you love me. Wow. Mm. Wow. I know I stayed in this shit. You asked her so many times right? already. Because if I left, your ass be dead. You don't mean this. It's the realest thing I ever fucking said to you. You got everything you thought you wanted. You made the right choice. Mm. We shall see. Teddy will retaliate, so we got to stay out of sight until this is over. The house, the shelter. Can't go to either one. Teddy want to come with us in the projects. I say good luck to that cracking motherfucker. So this was all part of your original plan? Waiting around wasn't working. <laughs> now he wants us just as bad as we want him. Mama, why don't you follow me and V back to the stash house, huh? I'll be right here. Leon's right. Teddy ain't coming to the projects. Mama, you're not listening. Hey, look, we'll, we'll keep her safe. It's, it's all good. Knocking at your front door, middle of the night? That ain't Amazon. I was headed to my girlfriend's house. And it occurred to me that this might be the last opportunity we have to speak before it's too late. So many questions I wanted to ask. Things you must have done end up in this place. All the lives you must have lived. I know how this is supposed to go. I know how this is supposed to end. But I thought maybe we could sit down and talk. Or you try to explode my world and I kill you for it. That's, that's... I'm open to suggestions if you have them. Go to your people. You told me you got it wrong. I'm not doing what you think I am. <laughs> you think I'm allowed to determine what I can and cannot pursue? You just think a dead end's a dead end? They're not here. Yes, they are. How do you know? What if I believe what you're doing is a crime that should be exposed? Ever since I learned you were here, I actually felt less alone. That is insanity. Where's the pen? I can destroy you just as easily as I could have killed you tonight. And you know that. Walk away. You take the gift I'm giving you. Take whoever size 10 shoes those are in your closet and go live the life you want to live. You're still in this apartment tomorrow night. I'll assume you still want my help. Teddy's giving ultimatums. Well, he has nothing to live for. Hey, you said you're done. But I got some things to say, if you want to hear. I knew that Franklin wouldn't be happy if I went over his head. Which is exactly what you did. You started. But I could never have known that Teddy would do that. I've been asking myself why. Because we have money, right? Power. Right. Respect. Sounds like a good time. But no. Box knew. You did. Is that enough to die over? Literally, seriously. Worth? Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think maybe it is. You just made it easier for him to leave. I've done everything for you. I hear you. What? But I just need more time. I just want to get our money out of Panama. And then I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I just need some time. Ah, Scully. I'll do a motherfucking drop. You're going to get your mind right. Lou, I can't stay. I won't. Those are some definitive words, boy. I can't and I won't. If I have a bad dream. I'm not good with having my fate in someone else's hands. 
if you and I are going to continue this, I need to know how you see things playing out from here. Hmm. I keep looking around my life, and I got no one. I'm done giving up things for them. Hmm. Not even a part of them anymore. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Rogue. That might be the sexiest thing a man has ever said to me in my entire life. Oh, also, he's gonna give him up. A difficult man to reach. Yeah, I've been busy. So I heard. So I heard. The problems I got, you're the only one who can solve them. Oof. What you need to get this done, also? Bars. You said 10 million. But you gotta wait till after I have it. Oh. Can't wait, need them now. In that case, I can give you a million. Okay, a million. Good. Anything else? Yeah. I'm gonna need passports for me and my entire family. Can you help me? All right. You know it's not gonna be easy to find Teddy after last night, right? I know. I'm gonna need your word that after you get what you need from Teddy, you're gonna kill him. This is the easiest promise someone makes you today, also. If you get me, Teddy, I'll kill that motherfucker. Oh my gosh. So we gotta just keep coming in? Yeah. So she turns up, I guess. I know. I promised I'd visit more. It's just been a lot going on. After we ride, I'll tell you all about it. Yeah. They want her alive. So he's not even like they're gonna go start spraying and shit. Y'all hang back, yeah? Let's go, baby. Oh shit, who the fuck is that? The guys from the stable. Kane's guys. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I was saying. Kane wants her alive, so they can't even right. start just... that They're not going to spray Louis, like, right off the top of the horse. Julia? Uh-huh. In case anything happens, shouldn't I know where the car is? Hunter Nathan Fig. A Chevelle. No. No, oh, I do. And I caught something big. <laughs> if you just listen to Franklin and done business with this guy. <laughs> you know, you're doing an awful lot to protect the pig. I tell you. And then what? You really gonna let me just walk out that door? Maybe not walk out. Hell, yeah, when I woke up this morning, my girl was threatening to move back to Vallejo. Days like this, I talk her down. You know, pull her panties to the side, show her I needed her. But this argument, Going on and on, all because of you. A little cigarette burned on her face. Hold me this kindness. Where the fuck is he? That was wow. I think he did burn her cheek. Jesus Christ. I'll be careful, right? I've got a gun and I'm not giving it up. Kane asked me to come. I walk in or I'll leave. Your call. Stay in there. That's like Zion. Yo, the stables was a 
lick, my nigga. What you name me here for? I figure you want to do the honors. Oh. No chance. Girl. I don't want to do it. Nah. Did I ever tell you my people were from Allen's world? Water got bad. Lost a lot of ranches, so Grandpa said that I had to bring the cows. I was like nine, ten. I can't watch this. <laughs> oh my gosh. He said, farm, that's how we protect our family, a legacy. Take pride in that. So I did. Oh my gosh, Dre. I feel queasy already. Didn't flinch. <laughs> he made a K on her chest. Don't have to break you down. Got a lot of niggas fresh out. Love feisty red bones like you. Call Percy. Tell him I got a business proposition for him. Get Ricky's ass over here too. You mind? Yeah, nigga, do your thing. Give up, Buckley. And pray for a quick death. Because what these niggas plan to do to you, why do that to yourself? You did this to me. Oh, yeah. Fine. You want Teddy? I already got an in. Cold blooded. <laughs> Honestly, after what he did to Teddy's father, like yeah. his mind is on That's a different it. level. Uh, you can tell Jerome though. Oh girl who held it. He is. He's gonna see scary. Project Council. We got a problem, they bring in whoever we elect for that. They squash it that way. We govern ourselves. Leon! Franklin's on the phone, he's out stress. Alright. Yeah, they're in the troops. Yeah, I got you, but I can't guarantee you he'll be back though. Look, just keep paging him 911 until he does, okay? Then what? Ain't much I can say to make sure he call you if he does. There is. Give me the fucking address, Leon. 1625 Door Day Street. I'll be right there. It's not where they are. It's on Alvarado or whatever they call it. Aldemator. Watch him. He's you. He's Watch using. him. He knew it. Oh, so he doesn't even have the backup of the cops. Oh. You ain't have to come, man. Yeah, but it's my shit, too. Bitch, nigga! The hell is this? Where the fuck she at? If I'd have told you straight up, you would have charged in there and gotten yourself killed, man. You can kill me if you want to. I'm the only one now. Or we can stop yes. wasting time and save your wife from what them jailhouse niggas plan to do to her. Who want to run a train on the whole that's crying and shit? Shit, me and every nigga here. Yeah, it might be a room on the track. That monkey talking. Jesus Christ. Well, talk to him. He'll talk back. <laughs> Watch this guy. Watch Pimpin. Thought you left. I did. Now I'm back. Gotta start your ride. Let him go. I ain't got my mouth all dry. I'm head to the stove. Yeah. Hell. Yeah. He helped him set him up. Hell no. Can't tell you who I am. A bitch that I bend but won't break. A loaded bitch. I can pick you whatever you want. Don't let her 
let her go. <laughs> Came fucking up the church's money. It's all right. They're paying for the inside, not the outside. Bruh. Mm -hmm. I didn't get the analogy, but that wow. That was disgusting. Chunks popped. Who's about to hop out? Wow, Franklin and Jerome. It's about to go crazy. That's two cars, right? Yeah. That's the getaway. Scully came with them. Turning tricks for the light bulb and before you could bust a nut. You probably suck more dick than the hoes you got on the straw, huh? I see your scars. They from pinning women down. You like it when they fight you off. Like you tried to when you was little. Oh, you shit. You're a loquacious hoe, huh? Now take the motherfucking clothes off before I had to do it for you, bitch. I'd rather take a fucking bullet. Somebody sprinkle a rub around me. I ain't trying to catch that die slow. <laughs> Kane's still in there? Nah, his lady pays me. Ooh, Franklin got that aim, boy. Somebody got away. Shoot it out, and I promise you, she gets the first fucking bullet. You get the next one. You know how this shit go. We from the same block. We square it up. We square it out. But a lot of niggas die. So how about we call it even? What you think about that, OG? Nah, nigga. Tell your mom, bruh. How are you gonna tell your mom? He was done, and the game was done with him. At the end, when he was standing in front, when uh, Scully, Scully, um, what's the name? The Kane. Kane was standing behind her, and she was like laughing, like, "Oh, honey, I'm okay, I'm okay." Like I thought she was gonna get it right there, just because of it, the, the aesthetics of the scene. But I never thought it was gonna be a shootout where Jerome got hit. I thought he was gonna like, while Kane was talking, he's just like, boom, gonna hit him like, uh, you know, like yeah. some on some sniper shit. But bruh. And Kane was down too, right? Like yeah, he Kane didn't. They didn't, they didn't really show it too he much, of it, but he, yeah, it's, it's, his it's, legs lying. 
lifeless. But you all knew what you were getting into. You didn't get no freaking Kevlar from freaking Avi way back when. Like, bruh. That's true. He gave he gave uh, um, Leon his first Uzi back. How far? And these guys don't have. And that's the thing too. You know what? Because the last time when Louis got hit at the uh, when the at the funeral, Black Diamond and Dallas hit her at the funeral. When he went to go rush there after they left the hospital, he also was still in his suit. You know what I'm saying? He was still in his suit, and then Franklin obviously intervened, and he beat up Franklin instead of going to the running into the projects where they were waiting for him with with adequate artillery. Oh my goodness. It's heating up. It's heating up. Like the thing is like because of the way that they showed it, like the same way they kind of cause I mean, but nah, it was a long, it was a long because with, with the Lorena situation, with the uh, Soledad situation, like, he came in, he popped her, and you're like, holy shit, did he shoot her in her back, her head, da, 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 and then you found out the next episode. But, like, this I was going to say, maybe Jerome's still alive and, like, they get him to hospital, life support, one of these things. But, like, the length of time that they spent, the amount of time Louis was crying and not doing, like, CPR something constructive, like, like, it, it really gave a finality, yeah. you know? And then seeing Franklin crying and, like... Like, oh man! Like, we knew one of y'all. Was we knew that. one of them had to go. I didn't want Jerome to go. Yeah. Oh my god! And I and then I, the like, freaking after pop guy killed, that was that was high on. Bro, like, there's uh, like yo. The thing is, what's crazy is Louis might kill him, cause like, he, like, oh man. But no, she's she's broken. Like everybody is just branded and broken. Jeez. Everybody is just this like Teddy's world destroyed. Franken world to a certain extent destroyed. Oso's world, no matter which direction, also pit DEA life is destroyed. CIA life is destroyed. Franklin life is destroyed. KGB. Like, it, KGB, babe. Like no matter where he goes, he's fucked, babe. He's uh... like Nightwalker vibes. Like it doesn't matter where you're going, you're just going to get fucked by somebody else. And then you have, uh, I mean, and everybody who's kind of in their circle, you know, Franklin by proxy. You have Veronica and her mother. Teddy, by proxy, you have Julia, and you have his father, and Paul. Also, by proxy, you have um, Hernan's, and, and you know what I'm saying, Hernan's kids and shit. And then, like, it's unbelievable, like. Mm-mm-mm. And then you have S- Sissy, who's a... Sissy. Uh, honestly, Sissy, Franklin... Uh, Sissy, Sissy, Leon, Louis, Jerome, they're all bystanders of shit that they're all like byproducts of stuff that Franklin has started, or even though they've they they've gone off into different permutations, like they're all like they affect each other so much, you know. And every and now Louis lost the like Jerome said, I can't I'm sorry I couldn't give you the life that you wanted because nothing was ever good enough. You said you wanted the 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 the, um, the pass to the safe. I said, Yo, I can just give you five G's. You said, No, wait, nigga, you don't trust me. And now when you have five million and the club you wanted and killed the owner of the club that 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 mistreated you and took advantage of you, you've got all that now and you are still charging forward. What the fuck are you actually searching for? And the only thing you actually needed got taken from you. That is gone now. But and she had the nurse to say, you did this to me. Franklin, because because he didn't he he of course did not propose that you work with Kane instead of fighting him, and then you agree to it and then go behind his back, kill him, and then fail, and by proxy kill send him twice, twice because the second time you send him after Franklin and Kane, exactly. kind of right. <sighs> you know what? 
they didn't send him after Franklin the second time because they, they were surprised when they no, well, they were surprised when Franklin was the X factor in the shootout. Right. You remember? Oh my god. Another incredible episode of Snow Fun. We can't wait until the next forecast. So Thank y'all for joining us for the latest episode of Snowfall. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in our comments and be sure to go over to our Patreon to check out our full length uncut reaction or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Drake for Beauty and the Beard. We're signing off until the next one. Peace.